Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you a couple of um, tips and tricks on how to format a Google Sheet. Now you can see here that I have a sheet that contains um, sales data. It's a very raw document. It contains a lot of information like um, the order ID, um, a couple of dates. I also have here um, the sales and discount rates, um, but the file is not very um, readable and easy to understand. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can do to make your file um, readable. Let's just start out by um, blocking in the header row. As you can see, the header row is um, row number one. And if I scroll down, the header disappears. And that's not very convenient in any case if I want to keep track of what um, the columns mean. So to block out the header of row number one, I just need to come here on the top left. And as you can see, as I scroll over this thick bottom border, there's a little hand that appears. You're gonna be taking that hand and sliding it down to the bottom of row one. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see that the header has been fixed and that's just so much more easier to see what the columns mean as you scroll further down the document. So that's um, a first thing that you can do. Let's now go and alternate the coloring of all these rows. Um, it's, this is very monotonous. It's a hard document to read. So let's go ahead on format and click on alternating colors. As you click on that, um, you'll see that the header will be automatically selected, meaning that the header will have a slightly darker shade to help you to identify the header. There will be a couple of formatting styles that will be suggested to you over here. You can go ahead and use those if you want, or you can come and customize the colors of the header and lines um, type one and type two here on the right. I'm happy here with the suggestion of the yellow. So I just hit done. And now my document is a little bit clearer and helps me to go through the different rows. Now let's take a look at the dates. Um, the dates are mentioned here on column B and on column C. And as you can see, it's in the American style. So I have the month mentioned first, then the day and then the year. Now, I'm not quite happy with this format, so I kind of want to change it. We first start by selecting both columns, just as I've done here. And then you click on one, two, three, that um, gives you access to more formats. As I click on here, I see that the date is selected, but I'm not quite happy with this um, format. So if I go under more formats and then more date and time formats, I'll be able to select here the type of formatting that um, I'm more comfortable with. So let's just say that I want to mention something like this with a date, month, and the year. There you go. That is something a little more um, easier for me to read. Now let's go and take a look at the sales data. The sales data was all the way to the right here on column Q. The sales data should be in euros and not in US dollars. So I kind of want that information to be inserted here on um, my column and on my um, figures. So I select the column and I go to one, two, three. If I come here and click on currency, I will see that there the dollar is mentioned, but I don't want the dollar as mentioned. I want euros. So um, let's go to more formats and more currencies. Here, um, you can either scroll down, but I'm just going to type in euros and click on apply. And here we go. Now the euro sign is mentioned in all of the figures in um, column Q. Now, um, the discount rate on column S, I would like it to be mentioned in percentage, which is not the case at the moment. So to do that, I'm going to select um, column S, go ahead again on one, two, three, and click on percent. Okay, so that was an easy one. Now to make it more readable, I can just go here and decrease the decimal places 
up. Oh, let's do that again. There you go. All right. And that was an easy one there with a the percentage. It's very clear. There are other type of formatting that uh, might be very familiar with what you have seen with other types of um, sheets. So you can come here and change the type of font, for example. You can change the size of the font. You can make a font bold, italic. Um, you can strike through it. You can give a color um, to the text, a color to the background, and so on. You can also create borders, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say that we want to create a border for um, these cells. I have selected the, um, the cells where I want to apply the border. Then I come here and click on the type of border that I want. Say that I want this type of border, and here we go. Now, the border is very thin, as you can see. Um, it's not very readable, so I'm just going to go ahead, click on border again, and here you can choose um, the type of thickness of your border. There. Let's say that I would want to um, have give a color to my border, so I come here, select um, red, because I want to draw my colleague's attention. I just need to select the type of border again so that the coloring is applied. And here we go. My colleagues will see that we need to pay attention to these specific um, orders and their um, date and shipping date. Okay. Another thing I want to show you is how to merge um, cells. I think that's something you'll probably um, need, especially for titles. That happens very often. Um, let's say I want to merge um, these three columns. I just first need to select them. So I want to select um, these three cells, sorry, not columns. I have just selected them. And if I click here on Merge Cells, OK, they're not going to let me do it. But if I want to merge these cells here, I just go ahead and click on Merge Cells. And now you can see it's only one cell. And if I... Um, change and center my text. As you can see, um, the cells have been merged um, and makes it easier for me to write a long sentence. You can also wrap text. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is a long, uh, long sorry, sentence. But I also want to write something here on this other cell. So this is a test. As you can see, this is um, overlapping the um, sentence. This is a long sentence. So to make sure that I see the whole content of this specific cell, I just click on it. And then I come over here on text wrapping and then wrap the text so that I can see the whole um, sentence. OK? So I think this is something that also people um, use very often in formatting in um, their sheets. The last thing I want to show you is how to um, rotate a text. This is also very often used on headers. Let's say I want to rotate um, discount. I just go here on text rotation. Let's say I want to mm, tilt up. Um, the advantage of tilting up is to save up space. As you can see, I was able to decrease the size of my column here. I can do so as well with quantity and with um, profit. And if I double click on the arrow, as you can see, I have gained quite a lot of space there. So these are the tips and tricks that I wanted to show you on how to format your um, Google Sheet and specifically um, files that contain a lot of data. I hope this was useful for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out.